Hey guys, today we are making a horse stable cake complete with two ponies. First I'm splitting some 8 inch square cakes in half. I've trimmed the tops level already using this cake leveller. I'm using sugar syrup in this bottle to distribute it over the layers. I'll leave a link in the description box for it. This just helps to keep the cakes moist while we decorate it over the next day or so. Cut three of the layers in half down the centre. I've got a 12 inch board that I'm popping some ganache onto to secure the bottom layer. Next add your filling and stack up the layers of cake. Using one of the halves attach it to the back to give it extra depth. Working from the front of the cake backwards start to carve in a slope and trim the sides front and back a bit more level. It was at this point I decided I wanted it a bit higher, so I added that extra cake layer that we didn't slice and carved that into a slope. Once you're happy with the shape, give it a layer of ganache. It's only a rough coat to help keep its shape and seal in the moisture. Use a scraper to take off any excess. Once the first layer has set, you can add the final layer. Use your scrapers to smooth the fronts and sides straight. As that one sets, you can trim the rough edges off with a knife. Dampen the cake with water and distribute it with a pastry brush. Using a light brown sugar paste, roll it out into a long panel. This one wraps around both the sides and the front. Smooth it on with your hands or a smoother. With a scalpel, trim off the excess from the bottom and the top. You can use some flexi smoothers to create sharp corners on the edges, but it isn't essential as we'll be putting a climbing rose bush over most of it. Finally, add another panel to the back to finish the wooden stable sides. With the Dresden tool, mark in some rough lines all across the panels for a wood effect. Using some grey paste with Tylo added, pass it through a pasta machine on the thickest setting so it's all one thickness. I have a quilting ruler which I can use to easily measure out the paste. I know my cake is 8 inch across so I can cut a strip slightly longer than that. Using the ruler, cut a straight edge and then measure out strips that are a little over 1 inch thick. As it's see through you can easily line up the edge with the right measurement. Cut a few of these and leave them to set just a little. Starting at the back, lay a strip on stuck down with water and trim the edges to size. Add on another strip overlapping the previous one and work your way to the front. Wet along the front and add a narrow strip of grey. Cover the board in green. Yep, using the toilet seat method again, I'll leave it linked above. You may need to add an extra piece for the back but it's easy to smooth together. Roll out some paler brown paste with Tylo added. I'm using a cobblestone impression mat but you can use any texture such as brick, sand or tin foil. These mats come with a harsh frame so I just cut them off with scissors. I'll leave them linked below. Push the impression mat into the paste and carefully peel it back to reveal the pattern. Cut the piece down a little, this is going in front of the stable so it needs to be just over 8 inch in width. Wet the area at the front and align your cobblestones. Using a scalpel cut around some of the cobblestones to create a more organic edge. Pat down the cut edge to make them more rounded. Do the same all along the front and the other side. To fix the join in the cobblestones, carve in some smaller ones with the Dresden tool. I'm using the cobblestone mat as a guide as it's a perfect width for a stable door. Mark it in with the Dresden tool. 
then marking the top half where the horses will be. Cut them out with a scalpel and then replace them with black rectangles of paste. We are going to frame the doors so this is brown paste with tile added cut into thin strips. Just add strips around the black rectangle and add a full door underneath it. Continue lining the strips around each edge of the door. And for the crossbar pieces, cut one end into a point. The point will sit in the corner of the door. Once your doors are done, we can add little details such as hinges and bolts. These are just little sausages of black paste. Indent a hole into each hinge and bolt for extra detail. Using a strip of brown paste, attach a rack on the side of the stable. For the climbing roses and bushes, roll out an uneven sausage of green paste and attach it to the stable with water. I'm texturing this time with a Dresden tool for a deeper effect. You can use a new toothbrush, a nail brush or star piping tip to texture but for plants that are closer I like to use a deeper texture than say a star tip for a further away tree. Add the greenery all around the stable. Using some hot pink roll out a long string of paste and loop it around to create a coil of pink rope. Stick this to the rack on the side of the stable with water and add a black ball in the centre. Do the same with purple for another rope. For the horse's body, it's just a thin piece of paste cut into a curved triangle. I followed the colourings of Isabella's horses, so you can make these any colour you like. Stick the bodies closer to the outer edges. The head starts as a ball, rolled slightly into a fat, tapered sausage. Pinch the paste up the centre and press in slightly where the eyes will go. Add a small blob of paste to the door to help angle the head. Insert a cocktail stick too to help hold it into place. Don't forget to notify the customer that it's in there. With the sharper end of the Dresden tool, mark in nostrils and the fatter end of the tool creates great eye sockets. Make another head in the same way. For the eyes, roll a small ball of black into a tic-tac shape and insert it into the socket, pushing it flat with the Dresden tool. Small balls of white create catch lights. For ears, roll out a teardrop shape and flatten it with your finger. With the Dresden tool, score out two lines and then push the inside of it down with the larger end. Cut the bottom flat. I don't recommend cutting it on your hand, but I'm used to it after all these years. Pinch the cut end together and stick the ear on the head with water. If your horse has patches, you can use colour splash white paint to paint them on. The hair is made by rolling spikes of paste and layering them up on the head. Kai, the horse on the right, had a small little tuft on his head, whereas Rosie, the pony on the left, had long hair over her eyes. To colour their pink noses, I'm using pink lustre dust just brushed on dry. The name was cut with tappets, I'll leave a tutorial for that above. The name plaques are cut from blue paste using this cool little cutter which cuts various sizes of pill shapes, it always seems to come in handy for something. Stick one above each door and paint on the names with a fine paintbrush and black paint. Or you can use an edible pen if you have one. For small roses, roll a ball of hot pink paste into a sausage and squash it flat. Slowly start to curl one end into a spiral until it's big enough 
and tuck the end underneath. Stick roses all over the green bush areas. For a hay bale, push a piece of yellow paste into a block shape and drag at the ends of each rectangle with the Dresden tool. Score lines across the front and top. Then mark in two vertical lines to create the look of string holding the bale together. Add the bale to the board and add small separate pieces of hay around the base. Also add another one to the side of the stable. I cut out a number 9 from the tappets and let it set. Wet the bottom of the number and gently push it into the soft hay bale. It should stand up on its own. For the water bucket, roll out some pink paste with plenty of tylo added. Cut out a circle for the base of the container. Then cut out a long strip and hold it up to see if it needs trimming down. Wet the edges of the circle and then wrap the paste around it, sticking the joint together the best you can. Roll out a sausage and attach it to the top of the strip as a rim. Once it's set, stick it joint side down to the board. For the water, roll a tapered sausage of blue paste and flatten it a bit. Stick the pointy end over the join in the bucket and press out the larger area into a puddle. You can also add a small extra splash. To make it look a bit more like water, you can paint over it with piping gel. Finally, airbrush around the board and plants with green airbrush colour. Then swap to black airbrush colour for the roof, corners of the stable and the doors. That's it, all done. A simple but effective cake for any horse lover which you can personalise to their own horses. If you've made any cakes from my tutorials, feel free to tag me over on Instagram. My link is in the description box. Thanks guys, bye.